Good morning. Welcome to Winging It Buffalo Style. I'm Diana Fairbanks. And I'm your CW star, Matt Snyder. And it's time to get started on Winging It today. In the kitchen today, we have an old friend and a special sous chef. Anthony's going to be cooking uh, a very special steak dish this morning. And we'll also be making some new friends. I will show you what happened when I got my own personal meet and greet with the Buffalo Zoo's new baby polar bear. Yeah, and it's almost time for prom season. We're going to talk about a great event coming up, uh, gowns for proms. We are pleased to be teaming up with Colvin Cleaners for this. They do such a spectacular job. Uh, we're going to talk about that coming up as well. Plus, we'll have some special live guests as we meet up with stu some students from the Buffalo Academy of Science Charter School with some fun science experiments. Oh. So I'm super excited for that one. I love science kids. They inspire me to no end. I'm so excited. You got to check out this kid too. He also inspires me to no end. I have literally been gushing all morning about this kid. Perhaps you've seen him. Uh, we're talking about uh, the kid president. Do you know who I'm talking about? Let's take a listen. The world needs you to stop being boring. Yeah, you. Boring is easy. Everybody can be boring, but you're good at that. I love him. Ravi Novak's pep talk to the world has been viewed 12 million times on YouTube. But did you know that he's also living with the disease that makes his bones very brittle and weak? Ravi has osteogenesis imperfecta, has had more than 70 broken bones in his short life, has had 13 surgeries. He has steel rods in both of his legs. Do you worry about breaking things? No. I don't worry about. Like, that's my point. I'm trying not to worry about it. Like, I want everyone to know I'm not that kid who breaks a lot. Like, I'm just, I'm just a kid who wants to have fun. Oh, he's such a great kid. Now, at first, the videos were just for the family, but once his brother posted them online, Robbie's kid president motivational monologue became an internet sensation, even catching the attention of President Obama. Uh, proof that a boy even this fragile is still inspiring millions to be strong. If you haven't seen his videos, you got to check them out because they just suck you in and they make you laugh and they make you smile and they do inspire you. You know, one of the things he kept saying, he's like, we're all on the same team, aren't we? And I'm like, yeah, we are. I'm like, right there. I was just... <laughs> It was very early this morning. I was all excited. And it always seems like those messages are so much easier to swallow when they're coming from a kid. Oh, he's so cute. I just want to... Yeah, oh, I love him. I love him. And we're also continuing talking about children. Now, I have a question for you. You're yes. a big iPhone, iPad user. Now, do you let your daughter play with it? Yes, I don't know that I have much of a choice, but she's she's pretty young. But yeah, yeah, you know, I probably always have, uh, but it's within within reason. So now would you give her your iTunes password? Never, right. never would I give her the my iTunes password. The reason I ask this is because there was a five-year-old in the UK who accidentally racked up a $2,500 bill on iTunes in a matter of 15 minutes. According to the BBC, the little boy was begging his dad for his iTunes password so that he could download a quote-unquote free game to which his dad finally gave in. Later when the email started flooding in, the boy's parents realized what happened Apple says, of course, that they will refund the money. I, the, you know, I'm, there's a lot to talk about. One, that should you give your kids your iTunes password? And also, you know, should Apple refund you the know, money? I, I love my kid. My kid would never do anything, you know, malicious. But it's so easy to accidentally, oh, I like this, I like that, I like this. Well, you, you need to, you know, have, be an active participant in your child's uh, online experience, and that includes monitoring your own password. And even with those free apps, I know that I, I play some games on my phone, and yeah. you download the free game, and then all of a sudden you can have in-app purchases, right. and you're like, but it will make my game better, so yes. I kind of need and to she, do it. You know, we have one now that she's playing all the time, Candy crush and I'm terrible at it first of all but after a while on the free one if if uh, it makes you take a break and if you don't want to take a break if you're really into it you can buy your way out of the break you know and she's like mommy buy me more time and I'm like no I'm not gonna buy you more time <laughs> you've you had wait. enough time you've had enough time no, but, it, but it is really easy even for adults oh, yeah. to accident, you know oh, just yeah. even when you're on the computer you click the wrong button I mean I've never accidentally spent twenty five hundred dollars no but and I'm honestly I'm surprised Apple's refunding the money because I've just had some other experiences with companies that are a little, I, I don't know, I just am surprised that Apple's refunding the money. They didn't have to, and I don't know. I'm surprised. I guess I'm people surprised. just uh, understand when a kid makes a mistake and yeah, is a kid. Yeah, I'm going to use that next time, too. There's <laughs> precedence now, right? Well, speaking of things that have a lot of folks talking, let's talk about Pat Coletta, because a lot of people are. Uh, the five-game suspension for the hit. You, you've seen the hit, right, during the last Sabres game. We're talking about this hit on New York's uh, Brad Richards. The league suspended Coletta for the next five games. And get this, not just five games, but he's going to lose about 76,000 
dollars in salary. Now, it's not just the hit, though. They say he's a repeat offender, like he has a history of this. I don't know. A lot of folks are saying five games. That's a lot of games. That's that's two weeks here in this shortened hockey season. You know, I do like to watch some hockey, and I think one of the draws of hockey is that it is kind of a little bit of an there's aggressive always, there's sport. There's always fighting. Yeah, I don't. I, I guess my confusion is you can whip your gloves out and start punching right, each pull other. Pull the jersey but over the head. You know. When you push someone, I mean, the hit looked a little hard, and he's he's you know been suspended from games I think twice before. Now Richard said that he is not playing hockey, so a lot of people out there are accusing Coletta of you know not playing the game it was meant to play, but. I don't know. It's don't fun know. to watch. So. Yeah, I know. There's fighting, and apparently there's fighting. You be the you, judge. You decide which one is which <laughs> and where right. they meet. But, you know, uh, you know, Coletta was on our show. He co-hosted our show, and he is an incredibly nice guy. Did he Super, fight with you? He didn't fight. No. Or fight. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, so it, it's interesting to see his sort of off-the-ice yeah. personality, and then when he gets on the ice, he is known to being a hard hitter. And, uh, he's not you know, joking around. Yeah, he's not joking around. But... We have a little bit more uh, cuddly ice oh, news. Oh, I the, love it. 